Do you hesitate to take calls from unfamiliar numbers? Do you ignore, or even worse, delete emails from people or organizations you owe money? Does an unfamiliar stranger knocking at your door on Saturday morning set your heart fluttering? If you're deeply in debt, but still have an income, it is time you freed yourself from the yoke of inappropriate debt. In this video, we discuss how to take the bull by the horns and become debt free. Coming up right now. Hi, I'm Manyara Kirago, and this is Money Skills, the channel that informs, educates, and sometimes challenges conventional thinking to help you manage your money better and ultimately transform your financial life. If you are new here, please click the subscribe button and the bell icon to be informed whenever I upload a new video each week. Remember to stay tuned in up to the end of the video to receive a free bonus. A person who is heavily in debt is usually under a lot of stress. They find it difficult to focus at work and when not working, cannot relax or have fun. In an attempt to relieve the stress and achieve a relaxed state, many end up abusing alcohol and other drugs, further deteriorating their financial situation as the money that could have been used to pay off debts is diverted. They lose self-esteem, self-confidence, and ultimately self-respect. If you are one of the thousands of people that find themselves in a financial black hole because of excessive credit card debt, bank loans, circle loans, and other debt, there is hope. A good debt reduction plan can get you out from under your debt. This method isn't a quick fix, and it will take time and determination, but it can work for you if you work on it and your debt levels are not at disaster levels. This method of debt reduction has nothing to do with consolidation loans, home equity loans, and such. This is all about taking control of your finances, about setting a realistic budget and sticking with it. It will require you to be disciplined with your finances and stop making frivolous purchases on credit for things you can't afford and don't really need. So many people have credit cards for emergencies, but the problem is that buying dinner for a whole party, upgrading your wardrobe, and buying a new big screen TV really don't qualify as emergencies. Few people have the willpower to say no to these temptations, and because of that, they find themselves in over their head with excessive credit card debt. Here are a few basic steps you need to take in order to retake control of your finances and be completely debt free. You don't have to stop once you've got your credit cards paid off either. You can continue until your car loans and even your mortgage are completely paid off. Think of how great it would feel not to have any debt at all. Just follow these steps. Before you can become debt free, you need an accurate picture of your current situation. No matter how overwhelming it may seem, you need to make a list of every debt that you have. Include interest rates, balances, etc. You also need to add your personal expenses such as rent, groceries, utilities, phones, school fees, petrol, all those. The idea is to know exactly what your monthly expenditure is. Once you have all this listed, you will need to make a detailed monthly budget. Without leaving anything out, make sure you include payments to all your debts along with all your normal bills. If you are not able to fit payment to all the debts on the budget, it means that you have to make budget cuts. Go through each budget item and consider ways of reducing it. This may mean giving up some things, but it is for an important cause, your freedom from debt. 
make sure that the budget cuts enable you to make the required payment to all the debts and still leave you with some free money. Secondly, pick out the debt with the highest interest rate. Now, instead of just paying the minimum payment on this debt, you will pay the extra money into it. How much extra? Well, as much as you can. You have already a complete budget developed where you are making payments to every debt you owe. Now, you just have to take whatever is left over and apply it to this one particular debt. If you can add even a small amount to the required amount every month, you can dramatically decrease your debt. Thirdly, once that first debt is paid off completely, take the extra money you are paying on that debt and apply it to the next debt with the highest interest rate. Remember, you are still making payments to all your other debts. It's only the highest interest debt that you are making the extra payments. If you follow this method, you will find yourself debt-free sooner than you would have expected and it works so long as the debts have monthly reducing interest. It won't happen overnight and how long it takes will depend on how much of the principal you pay down each month and how much total debt you have and how disciplined you are. But this method has worked for thousands and it can work for you too. This is the best debt reduction plan because you aren't just simply rearranging your debts like with debt consolidation loans or other types of loans. Here, you're actually paying it off completely. I hope this helps you see how you can wipe out your debt. Please comment below and let me know your experience with your loans. Thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please like, share, and also click the subscribe button and the bell icon to be the first to know whenever I upload a new video. As a bonus, I have a free report, the top money mistakes Kenyan professionals make and how to avoid them. To download this free report, follow the link below to my website. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you.